Hi, I'm Jeffrey, and welcome to my beach villa, where we can relax and review these Tom Kench games together. I think something you'll notice is improvement is possible. You can get better at this game, and I think I am a great example of that. I've been struggling a lot with very common mistakes and issues these last couple of weeks. I've been pretty much cataloging my entire journey through Low Masters, and I've been missing some W's, yes, but there's a lot of things that I've been dealing with that are actually starting to turn over, and I feel like I'm starting to get results, and I wanted to share that with you guys today. Also, as a reminder, I'm going to be posting my Discord at the end of this video. If you feel interested in sharing or contributing to the idea pool or things that should be covered on this channel, do not hesitate to share or post something in there. I would love to look at it and we could have a conversation about it. Also, speaking of conversation, check out this wonderful conversation I'm having with my mid laner. Just remember that for later. Anyways, I was talking to you guys about things that I've been making mistakes on and how I've been slowly improving. Check out this W. Completely useless, yes, but... The concept of it was nice. I actually played defensively. But can go even and outscale. Now here you see me trying to go aggressive with my W. Remember this is a lane we don't win. So we kind of want to prioritize staying alive. Well said, Jeffrey. I love that. Prioritize staying alive. So the longer you are alive, the longer that you can do damage, which is the basic formula for Jinx's success. And I need to think about what my allied champs want to do to win the game. If I was playing Samira or Draven, maybe I should just go crazy. But if I'm trying to defend against, I don't know, a Riven, playing for the locket and then backing up and using my ult is much better. And so I assume some of you guys are asking, well, there must be some time where you're supposed to go aggressive. Absolutely. This time's not one of those. However, if there's ever a situation where your team is pushing forwards and there's a Camille ult on top of somebody and you can't miss your W, love that. Notice how you're going to see me following up with a lot of CC in this game. No one can affect my Talia here, but my Camille ult is down, and so I go for it. So another problem I've had in my videos and my gameplay has been positioning defensively for my Jinx and being ready to ult them when I need to. So I've been using my W as a macro tool to get there. Don't get to gobble her up before the team fight starts, and she ends up taking a tremendous amount of damage. I think this one's my favorite. You cover so much distance. But, um, yeah, I've been coached by one of my old players and good friends, Ya Yi. He's kind of a legend, and he's been discussing this idea with me where doing nothing is actually an amazing strategy. And if you notice here, I miss my Q, I stand somewhere, and then I do nothing. And we just completely destroyed this fight because of it. Just the fact that I was there to eat the Jinx at any moment, that pressure, that help, that support, is exactly what it took to win this game. Now, for those of you that like Halo Blades, my second match is a little bit different, although I still have a Jinx, surprisingly. Or maybe I should say not surprisingly. Because we're able to get a lead bot lane, I'm able to transition my lead into middle and skew the tables for my Lissandra. Now, she does a great job of engaging for me. Unfortunately, something that I mess up often is I go in way too early. And so even though I hit all my abilities and microed correctly, I even dodged the cast alt. I went too early, and it made it to where she was able to stack her conqueror on me and basically null out my damage. Now, luckily... I am still learning this defensive play really well. I'm able to remember to use my W right on top of my Jinx, and I get everyone really low. Another strategy and skill in this game is actually survivability. It's how annoying you can be to the other team and pretty much waste their time. Now, I have sustained enough time alive for the Udyr to actually come over here, kill the Kha'Zix, chase down the AD, and punch Karma right in the face. So... Even though we overextended for the Kha'Zix, we were able to make up for it. Now, right as he goes for this auto attack on the minion, I go in. I go for the auto Q auto, spit into the trap. Really good stuff. My game kind of glitches out when he dies, but whatever, we get the kill. And this is what a winning Jinx lane looks like. It's a very slow suffocation. It's not us going around killing everybody, but it is us staying alive, moving around the map, and getting picks. Now, I have bought Swifty, so I'm able to run it down middle and basically catch people off guard through river over and over and over again, and we're able to get the Karma here. Here, I do the exact same thing on the mid laner. Now, once again, if you're going to be CCing somebody, you need to be doing it to increase damage uptime. Here, my ult actually causes the zap to miss, and my ult does get good damage, but it doesn't really do what I want it to do. Now we're getting pressure, we're moving from lanes into the jungle, we get a lucky timing on the Kha'Zix, but the thing is, this isn't really luck. We got the pressure in the lanes, we pushed the priority into the jungle, and we got into the right position, and that's a skill in and of itself. 
Here we're kiting. This is that late game kind of stuff. It looks like we're actually in trouble, but really, we're not. This is one of those parts of the fight where it starts to turn. It starts feeling really bad for us, and then it ends up being really bad for them. We slowly walk up. And y'all know my Ws have been pretty whack these last couple of weeks, but here I get to get away with it because we did the appropriate level of kiting. We had defensive play. We kited to our team, and that allows us to move forward. So for anyone who's watching these videos and is feeling like, man, I just feel like I'm not getting anywhere, please understand that growth is slow. You've got to study, you've got to sleep, you've got to repeat. That is it. You need to go to bed, learn your lesson, and wake up the next day. My match history has a crap ton of losses. I'm pretty much a 50-50 player where I'm at right now, which is good, because that means I'm in the right elo. And I learn lessons all the time and go on hot streaks because of it. But I also start making mistakes and go on cold streaks. And these are just seasons of gameplay. Thanks for watching my video, everybody. And join my Discord if you want to add to the conversation. Good luck with your climb. See ya! Yeah.